Greece and the Mediterranean. This is Azara world. The story starts under the sun. All to do with a little boy sneaking up uh, on his mum and dad as they're sunbathing. He's got a jug of water. Αυτός που βλέπει το φίλο στην αρχή βλέπει τα πόδια μου και δεν ξέρει τι θα τι πάω να κάνω. The father has seen that his son is approaching and will play a trick on him, and he's ready for that. So he plays the game that his son wants to take him into. This new Chrome campaign is truly in line with all the Azaro campaigns because you can find the sun, you can find the deep blue of the ocean, you can find the infinity of the sky. All this freedom and solarity, the pleasure of living under the sun is expressed throughout this film. And this is very consistent with whatever happens in the Azaro brand. Once the father has trapped his son on the roof, he imagines something a little foolish, which is also interesting because it's a challenge that he places upon his son. There's this intense and very pure moment of trust and confidence. From a playful moment, we end up into something deeper. You don't know what's going to happen, and then they hold hands, and before you know it, they jump off the edge of the building, and then they splash into the water. helps his son taking the big leap, so to speak. So they do this big dive, this big jump into life. It's a touching little story. It's very little, but very touching. On and off camera, it was a touching little thing also, because for a little boy on a big set three days, it was pretty extreme. We were lucky. Obviously, we're on an island, so we're very remote, but we still had uh, the luxury to bring people from Athens and equipment from Athens. And here in Greece, they had everything that we wanted. So we were using like a track and dolly, we were using a steady cam, we were using a techno crane, we had an underwater housing, all the right tools for the job. And also, we had an amazing crew, and amazing crew makes amazing work. You know, you can have a vision and a concept and you want to do this, but without the people that actually make it happen fast, quick, you know. Yeah, so we're very lucky to have a brilliant crew, really. We chose Christopher Awood because he has such a graphic visual approach. He melts the human and the natural element with such obvious fluidity that brings an amazing modernity to what we want to display, which is a timeless bond between father and son. John focuses more on the intimacy of man. He has a very genuine look on masculinity. He can capture the casual, well-assured father that we want to display in Chrome. It was a very accurate choice for this project. I just tried to create these sort of intimate moments between the father and son who had spent all day together. It was fairly simple and easy because the models were so good and relaxed in front of the camera. There was a very good chemistry between them. Sometimes we go off the brief just to create the relaxed expression and body language, in jumping around or laughing or whatever. This was the second time I worked with John. He worked in a way that sort of chaos exists, and he lets it come in. He wants to have off moment, off guard, you know, so he wants these in-between moments, but still he wants to control the set. Oh, not you, him. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, oh, spontaneity. Uh oh. oh. Even though there's a, a lot of people around the camera and a big fuss going on, you know, just trying to create that magic moment. I mean, sometimes we go around the houses trying to just, just get the expressions right. <laughs> OK, finished. <laughs>
there's an informal and uh, instinctive link between a father and son that cannot be really explained. And that's interesting because fragrance is something that cannot be really explained. There's something very in instinctive about it. And that's the territory of chrome. It symbolizes this abstract yet very intense bond between the father and the son and how they take one another into life step by step.